know. What's wrong with me? Why don't I just sit in an office and record a review video? Hello and welcome to this week's video and it's Christmas Eve. Um, I hope you've all had a good Christmas. Um, this video could be going out just after Boxing Day, so um, I'll probably be sat in front of a fire trying to warm up after this. It's absolutely freezing. Now, traditionally what happens in our family on um, Christmas Eve is that it's the day when Mel and Leia do a lot of baking and things, so I tend to get under the feet and for the last four or five years what's happened is I've been out with the triathlon club doing a, a bike ride or something now obviously under the Covid restrictions we've got at the minute that's not going to happen so this year I've come out to do a bit of a run now I had planned to go up into Derbyshire to do a bit of a run but obviously the Covid restrictions mean I'm not going to be travelling up there didn't really want to run from the house because I've been doing a lot of that along the side of the River Trent so what I've done is just got in the car and travelled a couple of miles further north up the river to Dunham Bridge and I'm going to run up the side of the river uh, towards I think it's Cotton Power Station um, it's a run I've not done before the only complication I've got is yesterday it absolutely hammered it down with rain and the River Trent has flooded in several places so I haven't even been and had a look at the river here I took the dog out this morning from home and I could get round there but a lot of the fields are underwater again so um, I'll get as far as I can get. So the plan is this morning I'm going to run out probably three or four miles Maybe might even get as far as five and then do a run back But when I get to the halfway point, I'm going to review my lightweight tripod now the reason for that is um, This travel tripod and as I've titled the video for me, it's probably one of the best travel tripods I've ever used and uh, It has to be for me because I use it when I'm running with my camera kit or when I'm on the bike so I want something light small compact uh, that does the job of basically a fully fledged tripod so I'm going to review this tripod at half uh, at the halfway point God knows what state I'm going to be in I don't know if you can tell it's absolutely freezing now I've bought some gloves um, it's probably about wind chill wise it's coming from the north probably about minus three minus four absolutely shockingly freezing and uh, Yes, yeah, so I'm not going to stand around here too long speaking to you. I'm going to get the hell out of here, get running, run further north into some more cold weather, some more wind. Do this review. When I've done the review, I'm going to tell you how you can actually win uh, a brand spanking new copy of one of these carbon fibre travel tripods. Um, pretty simple question, really. And uh, we'll sort that out when I've reviewed the tripod. If you want to enter that competition, I'd say fairly simple. And uh, yeah, that really is just to celebrate the fact that my channel has gone over a thousand subscribers. So thank you all for subscribing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, then yeah, consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm going to get off now because it's freezing. I'll catch it in a while and uh, we'll review this tripod. Right, I think unfortunately my plan's been thwarted this morning. Um, as you can probably see behind me, that's one of the um, oil delivery lorries. He's uh, just making his way back the way he's come uh, because he doesn't fancy going, going through this. Um, this is my run route here. I reckon it's probably four, probably three or four foot deep at least. So yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to head back, I've only done about three and a half kilometres, ridiculous, uh, it looks like there's some caravans over there, I'm just wondering whether they're underwater, somebody's not going to have a very nice Christmas, and the power stations over here so it sort of bends around the road and then goes back that way but there's no way I can get round to it so unfortunately I'm gonna to have to head back I'll try and find somewhere nice to uh, 
at least get out the wind and review this tripod. <sighs> Maybe get a shot, I don't know. The shot I was after is actually about another mile and a half in that direction, so uh, that is not possible unless somebody will lend me a bodyboard or something to, <laughs> or a ca kayak or a canoe. Anyway, I'll uh, catch you in a minute. Right, before I start the review of this tripod, I'll just qualify a couple of things with you. Um, the tripod I'm going to look at is a Vanguard tripod. Now, I'm a Vanguard ambassador, but I would qualify that by saying that I actually, probably about eight years ago, eight, nine years ago, got my first uh, Vanguard bag. Uh, this was a long time before I was an ambassador for the brand or anything. And I really, I sort of loved the... I love the quality and the, and the features that I got with the, the bag and it, at such a good price that eventually after three or four years of using it I uh, approached Vanguard myself and said look you know I'd like to be an ambassador for the brand do you think my work's good enough they took a look at my work um, decided that it was and accepted me on the ambassador program so in a way I don't feel like I'm beholden to them to say anything about the kit that I don't believe is true and the other thing is is you know I, I this is a travel tripod but I take it to the extreme so you know I'm, I'm running with this so if it's not doing what I want it to do I'm, I'm not gonna say anything about it that um, I don't believe is true because it has to do a good job for me I'm carrying the flipping thing on my back um, so it, you know it has to be good quality and do the job that I want right so this is how you'll get the tripod it comes in a box and then in this travel bag and you know I don't normally carry this when I'm running so I've carried a little bit of extra weight for you there to get out to do this review um, I'll just get rid of that there it, the tripod is actually from the VO, VO range um, it's a Vanguard VO3 uh, Go which is also the Go range which is the, the lightweight range if you like and uh, 204CB that's the model number which I think the CB stands for carbon fiber and yeah this is the, the actual tripod itself as you can see it folds up really small I think it's about 34 and a half centimeters it folds down to it actually folds in over itself which is I think, I think probably about 13 and a half inches something like that now it weighs I would like to say nothing but obviously it doesn't weigh nothing but it's 820 grams for that which you know that's the real important thing size and weight for me because I'm carrying it on my back when I'm running or when I'm out on the bike and I want to carry some landscape kit with me that's just all important to me so yeah 820 grams really not a lot of weight at all right so if we just look at the operation of this uh, tripod as I say it folds out over itself so you can hear it clicking there they're the three leg position so I've pushed it right out to its furthest one three and then obviously twist lock the legs out like so so in no time you've got a fully functioning tripod and obviously you've got another extension you can either if you want more stability you can drop that down or you can lift it up and actually extend the top one as well to give you a bit more height now what I would say with these you're never going to get the same height as a, a standard tripod all travel tripods really a bit of a compromise because obviously you, you the weight factor and the size is all important with travel tripods because you've got to get them onto a plane you don't want all that baggage all that extra weight you know one of my tripods that I use for filming is it must weigh about four kilos it's absolute monster with the head on it as well and it, it just weighs a ton but you know it has to because it has to be stable for filming and things um, as I say travel tripods are generally a compromise so you know if you're looking for a tripod for everyday use um, and you're not overly concerned about weight then this isn't the way to go but if you want a really lightweight setup that you can sling on your back not know it's there then yeah I can highly recommend this it extends to about uh, 131 centimeters I think that is and uh, probably that's just over 50 inches in height so it's not a bad and one of the legs uh, I think it's this one will detach itself 
and you can use it as a monopod so you can remove your that's just the wind rattling these railings um, just shows you how windy it is here today so yeah you can tell that off and use it as a monopod and uh, there's also another function that comes with that which I'll go into later you get a fully functioning ball head with this this comes with the tripod now again ball heads on these tend to be a compromise in a way um, but for me this has got as many features in it as you can possibly have while retaining a, a light weight it's actually made to go with this tripod so you know it should function fantastically with it which it does you've got a scale on here around the end so that you can spin it round the only issue is, is you only have one control which again is to cut down on weight if you had more controls on here this thing would be a lot heavier um, so if you're doing things like panoramas that can sometimes be an issue because you can't just use one uh, control to move the camera horizontally across um, it, there potentially can be some vertical movement because you, when you unscrew that to turn it it will go every which way you just really have to be a little bit more careful you've got a, a level here which again is a useful feature so for its size and it's Arco Swiss compatible as well so for its size you know it does a cracking job now when I was talking about the legs and what I'll do I'll just move those up a bit so you can see a little bit better just take one of the things out you've got three positions so you can lock your legs slightly wider like so or then extremely wide so I'll come all, all the way up to the top there if you want to get pretty low to the ground actually so there you go that's um, get you fairly low obviously your that's your limiting factor how low you can get to the ground what you can do is you can reverse this centre column so that you can hang it underneath so if you wanted to do some macro and get close to the ground you can actually take this off drop it underneath and hang your camera underneath so you can get really low to the floor so yeah that's the the main features of the tripod as I say I think the, the capacity on this is about three kilograms so what you're looking at is mirrorless systems and I suppose DSLRs with your standard lenses on and, and things like that for most systems that most people will use and certainly travel systems if you're going on holiday that's that's the ideal it's going to handle everything that you can throw at it now as you can see it's got rubber feet um, I think actually these can be replaced and you can put spikes on them um, they don't come with the spikes but I think you can get them um, and also what it's got a useful feature in the bottom I don't know that you can see this is a retractable hook now I've got mixed feelings about these hooks obviously what they're for is if you're in windy or conditions where you want to make your, your tripod more stable uh, supposedly you can hang a bag from there hang a bag from that hook with some weight in it or you know just your, your rucksack or whatever to stay to make the tribal tripod more stable now for me generally when you're going to want to do that is when you've got conditions like today where it's windy now what I prefer to do and what I normally do so if I'm if I'm going to do that what I carry with me is a old tent guy rope and a tent peg and what I prefer to do is tie the guy rope down there around the hook and then put the peg into the ground if I've got some soft ground and then tying it up with a guy rope because obviously if you've got a piece of nylon string twine coming from the bottom of here that's going to catch far less wind than having a heavy bag swinging underneath and potentially it's going to move your, your shot anyway and at worst it could knock your tripod over so obviously that's what you don't want now what you also get with the tripod is that this is the stuff I haven't really particularly used yet um, it's maybe something that I use in the future but obviously you get your instructions and you get your allen keys to tighten stuff up if you get anything come loose which is also always useful now you also get a uh, this which as I say I haven't used um, but you know I said it, it works as a selfie stick you actually get 
one of these to fasten your smartphone into to hold your smartphone I think it holds smartphones up to 3.4 uh, 3 inches wide um, drop it into there what that's for as I say I've not explored this particularly yet because I don't do a lot of stuff with my smartphone um, so yeah you can fasten that onto the end of the monopod leg which acts as a selfie stick and then also you have in this one show you now this is a bluetooth um, button if you like so you can operate your camera or your, your smartphone in fact as it say on there yeah there's an android and a camera set in there so that you can press that and via bluetooth you can fire your camera or uh, your smartphone so handy little thing to have there and as I say operate all the instructions in there so as I say that's not something I've used yet but possibly something I would use in the future but yeah as I say this tripod does absolutely everything I need it to do um, folds up really small quick to operate and quick to take up and put back down folds in on itself like that carbon fiber so again for things like you know using it in wet weather not a particular problem got a nice little rubber hand grip on there comes in a nice bag so that's the tripod um, if you've got any questions about it please stick them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them for you as I say I've been this is my second one of these um, the video that I'm going to recommend that you look at in a minute you will find out where there's another one of these but I don't recommend you go and try and get it um, absolutely no problem with anything that happened with the tripod um, it was user error one of those occasions where you wonder why the hell you did something but yeah this is my second one that's how impressed I am with these so um, if you want to get your hands on one of these I'm going to show you how you can do it now how do you win a brand spanking new still in the box carbon fiber travel tripod like this one well it's quite easy really all I need you to do is look at last week's video and I'll put a link at the end of this video to last week's video and also in the description below um, in last week's video, quite easy really, it's just my disasters in photography over the last year. At some point in that video there will be a visual clue that will give you a name of a British heavy metal band. And all I want you to do is email me the name of that British heavy metal band. I'll put my email in the description below as well. Please don't put it in the comments because if you put it in the comments then everybody will know the answer and you'll lessen your chances of winning. I really want to reward the people who watch every week so, or you know at least subscribe to the channel and watch some of my videos. Um, so I really want to reward those people for um, you know their support of the channel and what I will then do is after a couple of weeks um, I think the competition I'll close it on the 15th of January so anybody who enters up to the 15th of January will get me in a chance to to win that tripod put all those names in a hat and I'll draw it in uh, a video soon after the 15th wherever you are in the world again this is not a UK just a UK competition I'll send it anywhere because it's so lightweight it's uh, probably not going to cost me too much to send so uh, it's open to everybody so get entered and uh, yeah see if you can win this tripod anyway I hope you've enjoyed this week's video next week we're back on to normal stuff I think um, I've got a video coming up with uh, some more wildlife stuff landscapes getting really difficult at the minute because we can't travel and I suspect after Christmas we'll be going into the new tier 4 in Nottinghamshire wouldn't surprise me in the least uh, with this new strain that's around so uh, yeah that could be limited but yeah I've got um, some new exciting stuff coming up in the new year so if you've not subscribed to the channel then please consider subscribing 
Um, please give this video a like because it does help to support the channel. And uh, I will see you next week. And good luck with the competition.